Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, done a video, um, probably um, about almost a week now. Um, so it's uh, been a little bit rough for me and my family lately. Um, I don't know, some of you may have seen my post um, where my um, grandmother died. Uh, so it's been really hard and we just finished visitations and the funeral and all that and I just I need to get back into a routine before I lose my mind um, so um, we miss her <laughs> shoot I said I wasn't gonna do this um, she lived a good life she was 93 and uh, she fought to the end I tell you she was one strong Italian woman um, but she's uh, now in peace so God rest her soul um, so okay that's it um, so I'm back now and I'm hoping to continue with videos and you know get back into it so um, I'm glad you're all back I'm glad you guys are watching and so I'm just gonna do a really quick one tonight um, so let's get down to it. Let me just bring you guys down and we'll get started. Uh, okay, so um, I have a um, 16 inch round. Uh, I've already gone ahead and um, covered it with white paint, um, which is in my bottle here which is um, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White, Floetrol and Water, okay? Which is also the same thing in here. It's just easier with the squeeze bottle. Um, so, uh, and I've already um, torched the bubbles out with my torch. So I'm just gonna get started here. Um, tonight, I am just doing a regular Dutch pour but I'm gonna use, I think, the most colors I've ever used before. Um, my Nona loved color. Um, so I thought I would throw in a bunch of colors and just see what happens. So um, colors I'm using are Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. I've got, what is this? Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. I have Thalo Green by Grumbacher. I have Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. I have Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. <laughs> I have Deep Magenta by Artist Loft. I have Permanent Red Violet by Amsterdam. And Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft and Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. So that's nine colors, and then I'll likely add this, um, I, the Copper by Artist Loft. Um, you know how much I love the Antique Copper, but that's a little lighter in color, so I thought I'd go with that. Okay, so, um, for those of you, just don't forget, I still loving my lowly Veffy mats. I'm still using them. And they're still awesome and if you want to buy one you can do so in the link below it's lowlyveffy.com use code canela5 and you get a five dollar discount all right so uh, in no particular order I guess because it really doesn't matter um, let's just get started and I'm gonna try and do um, I, I'll try not to do too thick, like too much, because there are 10 colors. Um, I think I might, if I do the lines really, really thick, I'll probably flood it with way too much color. So, but between what I'm doing and what I'm saying, you never know what might happen. So, um, we'll just keep going here. Uh oh, it's not coming out. There must be some gunk in there. Let me do it on here. Wow, what's going on? This is a first. Never had that happen with my blue before. Oh, there it is. All right, I'm just gonna give it a quick shake. All right, let's try that again. There we go. 
There must have been some gunk at the lid that I didn't clean off the last time I used it. Uh, I'm gonna put the lid on this because I don't need an accident. So um, for those of you watching and who live in my area or you know in the GTA or any of that, oh my purple really sunk. I find that my Amsterdam colors um, sink a lot but my other brand of paints um, don't. So, but that's okay because it's still gonna blow out anyway. Um, so as I was saying, I have um, my show. I'm part of uh, an arts and crafts show. It is being held on November 9th and 10th um, at the Nada Wasega Inn. Um, so I will try and remember to um, post the link of where it is in the description below for those of you who are local and want to come and check it out and come see me or any of that um, feel free to do so I'm there Saturday and Sunday um, and yeah so I'll be there so I've been working really really hard um, trying to get pieces done and completed for the show I've been working really hard on coasters as you may have seen on my Instagram or Facebook I've been working really hard with making coasters I think I'm up to about 25 sets of coasters um, so and I still have a bunch more I want to do ah! <laughs> oh bugger I'm having an off day all right let's clean that off because I got blue paint all over it all right we'll add the copper we might as well might as well add that little bit so that is a lot of paint but that's okay all right so move that all around I guess I really shouldn't have put the lid on this because I'm going to use it now all right let's uh flood the sides all right now the top Perfect. Now I'll put the lid on. And I'm gonna pop the bubbles real quick. All right, let's uh, blow it out. All right, let's go. I love it it's so pretty and so colorful the uh, copper is making some really neat cells so I really like this side and then this side there's a lot of white right down here so I am gonna blow it just a little bit just to see if I can get some color over here and we'll see what happens Lots of color hiding under there. So it's all right under here. So. That's better. Now it's not so white. Alrighty, I'm really liking that a lot. It's really pretty. The phthalo green is always so beautiful, always. You can never go wrong with uh, phthalo green. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. I've got some really cool skins, um, paint drippings here that'll dry and look amazing once I peel them off. So let me bring you down. And I'll show you 
I'll show you actually what's going on on the other side of the table. Coasters, lots of coasters. That's what I've been working on and I'll show you where the rest of them are. <laughs> more coasters and more coasters and more coasters. Oh, look at that, more coasters and more coasters. So yeah, lots going on. And then I have some rounds and stuff. So, and up here is my fire and ice drying. I should be actually dry by now, but that's what I've been working on. And now let me show you this. So, there you have it. You can see the gold, um, or no, sorry, the copper, the cells coming out, but look how beautiful the uh, phthalo green is. I just love phthalo green. Very, very nice. And look at all those cells, so pretty. So there you have it. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you're watching and you're not subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way, every time I post a new video, you get notified that a new video is ready for viewing. So check that out and check out all my social media links in the description below. I'm on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. If you're on those accounts, on those social media, I mean, feel free to follow me there as well. I have my Amazon links as well. Um, those take you to my Amazon shop where you'll find the spatula, the torch, um, squeeze bottles, you know, all the stuff I use um, is listed there. And a lot of people keep asking me where I get my rounds. If you're in the U.S., check out the link below. It's Carolina Foothills Wood Art. They are, um, I'll put the Facebook link below. Um, she, Karen, is the owner. She can make whatever you need. Um, so if you're in the U.S., go and check her out. Let her know I sent you. And I'm still working on um, other countries. I'm kind of working on the UK and Australia right now and still working on um, Canada as well. So bear with me, guys. Um, and my PayPal link. Um, so if anyone would like to donate, um, the PayPal link is listed below. Um, every little bit helps. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Um, huge, huge thank you to those who have donated. Um, it really means a lot and it really helps a lot. So that's it for me. Um, sorry, I'm not my cheerful, usual self, um, but I hope to be back soon again with another video um, sooner rather than later. Um, that's it. Thanks for now, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs>